All right, as we wrap up day two of the National Coaches Forum, um, just to reflect on the key points that I took from the day, so many great golden nuggets throughout the day, but I'll just try to highlight it to three points. Um, firstly, we had Jamie Moulders uh, join us from uh, Germany. What a great presentation. I couldn't believe how um, open his level of humility, um, you know, just really showed some vulnerability as a head coach. And I think that will really resonate with a lot of people. His willingness to sort of bear all and, and, and talk about some of his challenges of his career will really sort of connect and help people as they go through similar challenges in their careers. Um, second up on the agenda was Emily Bidewell, USA Women's Rugby Sevens coach. Really good to hear from her. She's away in a qualifying tournament now, so for her to take the time to be here was just fantastic. Um, and I thought what it was, no, she sort of showed us through the journey of her team, which spoke about, you know, what are their unique selling points, how those unique qualities and characters they have shape the way they play the game and how it all linked back to the bigger vision of what they like to do and how they like to play their street ball. So I thought it was a really good example of a organic team growing through and developing their culture as they go. And then finally, we just finished with Ashley Merriman. Um, you know, I thought it was a fantastic session on, you know, the in-depth view of feedback that she gave us. And just the, the point, the basic point that feedback is actually sometimes quite stressful to give. If you're the person receiving the feedback, we often think it's stressful for them, of course, which it can be, but it's also stressful for the person that's giving it as well. So that was good just as a, an affirmation, just to understand that and try and put some measure in place around that. And then also the idea of checking with the receiver at the end of the conversation, just to summarize it so that they have understood what's been said and both parties have clarity on the way forward. So some really great, great tips um, and some good examples of great culture and good, great feedback through the day. Uh, tomorrow, as we look ahead, we've got another busy day. Uh, tomorrow is a more of a hockey focus. We've got Harry Singh, men's national team coach, joining us in the first session followed by Chris Fry. Chris, as you know, is working on the analysis and working on the data with the national team. So he's going to present on, you know, how we can better use our data. And then finally, Coaches Forum 2022 will be wrapped up with women's national team coach, David Passmore. And he's going to be sharing what he's, what he's looked at so far, what he's going to look at in the future, and some of his ideas on his principles and philosophies for the team and the future of the women's national team. So another big day tomorrow, and we look forward to seeing people at 11 a.m. Eastern time.